The decks are not fun to play anymore. You can't create new decks. Did I ask for it? Dude, I'm begging for it for a week now. I'm trying everything to get Vitex. <laughs> I was watching so many vanilla videos, dude. I was, I, I'm like watching guides, profession guides. I was watching all sorts of videos. I did like talent builds. Good, having a great time. <laughs> I can't do that in Hearthstone anymore. I can't try hard in Hearthstone anymore. The game is just not good enough. Like try harding in Hearthstone is the least rewarding thing you can have. You you will get so disappointed. Even that is RNG. Like if I get the Urshock here or the Lightning Bolt. Even that small little sequence right there. is a huge difference if I get the Lightning Bolt or the Urshock for the outcome of the game. Yeah, I, I still believe, but it was the same with World of Warcraft. It doesn't take a lot to make Hearthstone a good game again. That's why, like, so many people cling to the game for so long, even they don't enjoy it. Because it doesn't need a lot to make it good. But if you wait, like, for years and it gets worse, at some point you just quit. Like, we... Look at how many big streamers quit Hearthstone. Shio left, Hafu left, Savish left. And how long they were playing Hearthstone, right? And how long it took for them to leave the game. Till they couldn't take it anymore. Years! They didn't make that decision from one day to another. That's another thing. People just trash talking me, Gara, you're so salty, right? Look at what's happening around you. Wait, is Toast streaming Hearthstone or not? Like a mask quit, right? A ton of big streamers and a lot of p streamers that still play Hearthstone they play it almost like once or twice per week Like Reyna, how, how much Hearthstone does he play? Like once a week? So if Hearthstone is not competitive, if it's only casually, it's only designed for fun, why is everyone who's playing the game for fun not enjoying Hearthstone? Can you tell me that? Asking for a friend. So he only played one bomb card so far. He streams it? Yeah, but way less, right? This card will get buffed, right? Super smart, right? Buffing this card. I ask you guys, what do you guys think about this card being buffed? Super smart, right? 5000 IQ. People will not play this card in their deck, still. Why would you? But it makes the RNG outcomes from Control Dr. Boom Warrior even better. Well, 
Wouldn't you say that the max warrior can generate right now are pretty decent? One of the stronger things you can do in Hearthstone right now. Buffing the best max, I'm pretty sure that is a fucking great idea. Genius. It seems so smart. Buffing the mech that people can't interact with. Like, this makes no sense. It's like buffing. Why not buff this card to kill it too? Dude, I should post this on Twitter. Why don't you buff Omega Devastator that it kills two minions? It should AOE clear the board. I think that's a good change. I think Omega Devastator should Twisting Nether the board and heal yourself. It should give you 10 armor too. Salty? Again. Listen to the words I'm saying. It has nothing to do with being salty. Like, do you have ADHD or something? Like, what? How is that salty? Google being salty. I don't know what else to say. Google the definition. Or the meaning of it, of your own sentence. Or, or your own word, because you haven't even wrote a sentence. It's bad for the game. Okay, in a non-salty way. It's very bad for the game to ch to buff the max from Doctor from Warrior that you create from a, a Omega Assembly and from the Doctor Boom Hero Power. It's bad for the game for everyone, not just me, for everybody. Less for me because I will not play the game for much longer. But it's worse for you. So you call me salty when I'm trying to make the game better for you. That's pretty stupid. You will enjoy the game more. But this, like you will only play this card still from Dr. Boom and the same with the other mech. You will still only get them from Dr. Boom. Why would you buff Dr. Boom now? Can someone explain this to me? Dr. Boom is the strongest card in the game right now. And it's one of the biggest problems in the game right now. Buffing Dr. Boom is not very smart. You should do the opposite. You should nerf Dr. Boom, not buff Dr. Boom. Do you understand that? I don't know how else to describe this. Control is just so strong because there were just so many rogues. No, it is the it is the strongest deck. It is the strongest class. You just have the best cards in the game. You have the best board clean in the game. You have the best armor generation, which is effectively survivability, which is effectively healing. Armor is better than healing. So you have the 
you have the best win conditions for a late game deck. You you can go Mecha Toon, you can go Infinite Value, you can go Doctor Bo uh, Bombs, and you can just go Doctor Boom. You have like four of the best late game win conditions. You have the best survivability. You have the best individual single target board clears in the game with execute and shield slam. And you have the best board clear in the game with brawl. And Dr. Boom has the power level of a deck. The card is as strong as a deck. This card can beat a deck. It has perfect synergy with all the other 29 cards in your deck. No, Warrior is not good because it was decent versus Rogue. It was only like 50% win rate. Some players, some pro players achieve positive win rates with Rogue against Warrior. No, it's because Warrior is the best class in the game. Why would you not play the strongest class in the game? Well, it was beating Rogues, but Rogue could also win. They played Chef Nomi to counter Warrior because Warrior can't clear free Nomi boards. People were already countering Warrior with Rogue. Rook was definitely not the reason why people played Warrior. Warrior is just broken. It's easy counterable, but the people that counter warrior, they just play a deck to counter warrior, right? For example, if you play mech hunter, you basically play it to beat warrior. That makes still warrior a better deck or better class. Because you have to play a deck that only beats your deck or your class or you, yeah. Like if my deck would not be that strong, there was no there would be not a reason that you have to counter my deck. That means my deck is fucking strong, right? It's like why does every deck have to tech to beat Warrior? Well, No, we get. I think we have six bombs in our deck. I mean, we could just draw our bombs and lose the game, but. Oh, we actually have seven bombs in our deck. Do I replace? I think I replace. I could just get extremely unlucky, but. Just like six bombs. Pretty lucky. It's Hearthstone. If I get lucky, I win. If I get unlucky, I lose. This is not me being salty. It's just me being realistic. You know, I got lucky there, but now, for example, now he could attack. 
Can he even even if I drop the bomb 10 11 he needs more he needs two bombs Okay, like if you had two bombs I could still lose if I drop both bombs Imagine you get lucky and then you get super unlucky I hate that. I personally hate that. But that's how you have to play the game. Like when when turns games come down to RNG, both sides like you win or lose because of RNG, not because you played good. What's the point in playing the game then, right? If like it was not my decisions, it was the RNG. I will play classic WoW when it comes out. This, uh, like normal game, you say. Like what? 